In the heart of England lies a place shrouded in mystery and dread. A place where the veil between the living and the dead is thin, and the echoes of the past reverberate through its decaying walls. This scary haunted house in England is more than just a dilapidated mansion. It is a portal to another world, a world of fear and fascination that beckons the curious and the brave to explore its haunted halls. Nestled amidst the hauntingly bleak moors of England, cloaked in an eternal fog that seems to whisper secrets of a bygone era, stands a mansion that harbours tales of unspeakable horror. This forsaken relic of grandeur, now a mere shadow of its former self, guards the threshold to a past drenched in darkness and sorrow. The origins of this terrifying haunted house in England are steeped in a history so malevolent, so immersed in tragedy, that even time itself seems to have recoiled in horror. The mansion's inception was marked by ambition and opulence, a monument to the vanity of its original inhabitant, a figure shrouded in mystery and speculation. Rumours, dark and insidious, swirl around the genesis of this curse's abode, suggesting that its foundations were laid not just upon the earth, but upon a pact with the very forces of darkness. Whispers of arcane rituals, of blood sacrifices made in the dead of night to appease unspeakable entities, permeate the very walls of the mansion, imbuing it with an aura of malevolence that chills the soul. As the years rolled into centuries, the mansion bore witness to a succession of inhabitants, each leaving their mark upon its haunted history. Tales of madness, of guests disappearing without a trace, of inexplicable tragedies that befell those who dared to call it home, have seeped into the fabric of the mansion, creating a tapestry of terror that hangs heavy in the air. Yet, it is not just the documented history that sends shivers down the spine, but the untold stories, the secrets that lie buried beneath the mansion's crumbling facade. Hidden rooms, secret passages, and forgotten tombs hint at a dark underbelly, a labyrinth of horror where the past whispers to those who dare to listen. The origins of this scary haunted house in England are a puzzle, a mystery that invites the brave and the foolhardy to delve into its darkest corners, to unearth secrets that perhaps are best left forgotten. Venture deeper into the shadowy realm of the mansion, and one discovers a world where whispers from beyond cling to the weary souls of the intruders. Eyewitness accounts from those who dared to traverse its forsaken corridors offer a chilling glimpse into a reality twisted by the supernatural. Brave explorers recount harrowing encounters with spectral figures that loom in the darkness, their silhouettes barely discernible yet unmistakably sinister. These phantoms, trapped between realms, seem to replay their tragic fates to any who would watch, a silent testament to the mansion's frightening history. Visitors speak of cold caresses from unseen hands, a sensation so unnerving it sends shivers coursing through their veins. The air becomes thick with the perfume of decay, a scent that clings to the senses long after one has fled the oppressive confines of the mansion. The sound of footsteps echoing in empty halls, the soft murmur of voices recounting tales of despair, each account is a piece of the puzzle, revealing the tortured souls that linger within. One tale recounts a locked room where the sound of a child's laughter turns into heart-wrenching sobs. A room that, upon investigation, reveals nothing but the remnants of a long-forgotten tragedy. Another speaks of a portrait that weeps blood its eyes following the viewer with a sorrow so profound it's said to drive the onlooker to madness. These testimonies, 
whispered in hushed tones by those who have witnessed the mansion's horrors, weave a narrative of a place not merely haunted, but alive with the echoes of its damned inhabitants. Each story, a thread in the mansion's dark tapestry, offers a glimpse through the eyes of the damned, a vision of a world where the barrier between the living and the spectral is as insubstantial as the mist that shrouds the mansion at dawn. Hazard, if you dare, into the heart of the architectural nightmare that is this haunted mansion. With its design as convoluted as the twisted minds that once roamed its halls, this structure is no mere house but a maze crafted to disorient and terrify. Corridors lead nowhere, staircases ascend into suffocating darkness, and doors that should offer escape only plunge the unwary deeper into the bowels of despair. Here the very architecture conspires with the spirits, creating a prison of fear from which there is no apparent escape. Within these walls, the line between the physical and the ethereal blurs, with hidden chambers revealing horrors untold. Secret passageways veiled beneath the cobwebs of neglect whisper of a history drenched in blood and tears. These silent witnesses to the mansion's dark legacy serve as the veins through which the heart of the mansion's terror beats, pulsing with malevolence and despair. Rooms each more foreboding than the last tell tales of anguish and madness. Within these spaces, the air reverberates with the presence of those who came before, their souls trapped in a perpetual nightmare from which there is no awakening. The walls adorned with grotesque paintings and mirrors that reflect not just the visage, but the very soul seem to watch, to breathe with a life of their own. This architectural labyrinth serves not just as a setting for tales of horror, but as an active participant in the torment of its inhabitants. It is a blueprint of despair, designed not for living, but for those caught in the perpetual limbo between life and the afterlife, where every corner turned reveals a new horror, and every door opened leads deeper into the darkness. In the shadowy recesses of this foreboding mansion, whispered legends find their voice, speaking of the cursed relics and tormented spirits that dwell within its decaying embrace. These dark inhabitants, forever bound to the fabric of the mansion, weave a tale not just of horror, but of a sorrow so profound it seeps into the very bones of the building. The air itself carries their lament, a palpable presence of despair that refuses to be ignored. Among the relics, each bearing the mark of tragedy, are items of untold power and malignant intent. A mirror that refuses to reflect the living, instead revealing the ghastly visages of those long past. A clock that ticks not the passage of time, but the countdown to one's own demise. A painting that shifts and warps, trapping the souls of the curious within its cursed frame. These items, infused with the essence of their former owners, serve as anchors, tethering the spirits to the mortal realm, condemning them to an eternity of anguish. The mansion's dark inhabitants are not mere spectres of folklore. They are the remnants of lives interrupted, of destinies unfulfilled. They roam the halls prisoners of their own creation, forever seeking to communicate their tales of woe to those who dare to listen. Yet, their whispers are not always benign, for within their tales lie warnings, omens of the fate that awaits those who delve too deeply into the mansion's cursed history. In this place where the past and present collide, these spectral entities and their cursed relics serve as a grim reminder that some doors, once opened, can never be closed. In the eerie stillness of the night, when the world hushes its breath 
and the shroud of darkness blankets the earth, the infamous haunted mansion of England awakens to a symphony of the macabre. Skeptics turn believers as they traverse the threshold, stepping into a realm where the air crackles with the electricity of the paranormal. The mansion, undimmed by the passage of time, continues to ensnare the hearts and minds of those who venture within, seeking encounters at the edge of madness. Contemporary adventurers, armed with nothing but their courage and curiosity, recount tales that chill the blood and haunt the soul. They speak of apparitions that materialize with startling clarity, only to vanish into the ether as though they were never there. Voices, disembodied yet achingly human, call out from the darkness, reciting names, pleading, threatening, or simply crying in the loneliness that eternity brings. The clatter of chains, the dragging of unseen feet, the sudden drop in temperature that leaves one's breath visible in the air. These are the hallmarks of a modern day haunting within the mansion's cursed walls. Photographs capture orbs of light, inexplicable mists, and shadows where no shadow should be. Electronic voice phenomena, those ghostly whispers captured on recording devices, offer evidence of a presence that defies explanation. Each encounter, each piece of evidence, adds another layer to the mansion's legacy of terror, drawing more souls to its doorstep, each eager to glimpse beyond the veil. In this house where time stands still, the spirits are restless and the living are mere guests in their domain. The mansion, with its endless mysteries and horrors, continues to beckon, promising an encounter with the supernatural that teeters on the edge of madness. As twilight descends upon the cursed grounds of the mansion, a supernatural transformation occurs the boundaries between the seen and unseen, the living and the deceased, begin to blur, revealing phenomena that defy all logic and reason. It is during these hushed hours that the mansion reveals its true power, a nexus where the veil separating worlds is at its thinnest, inviting phenomena of a most unsettling nature. Whispers in the void, too faint to be caught by the ear yet felt deep within the marrow, suggest the stirrings of something ancient and restless. Objects, bound by the laws of physics during the light of day, now move of their own accord, as if manipulated by invisible hands. Mirrors, those gateways of the soul, flicker with the images of those who walked these halls centuries ago, offering fleeting glimpses into a world beyond our own. The air itself seems to pulse with energy, a static charge that raises the hair on one's neck and sends a shiver down the spine. Shadows elongate and contort, forming shapes that should not exist in the natural world, darting just out of sight when pursued. It is in these moments when the fabric of reality wears thin that the mansion whispers its darkest secrets, inviting the brave or the foolish to peer into the abyss. Sauntering through these haunted halls under the cloak of night, one cannot help but feel the weight of countless eyes bearing witness to the audacity of the living. Here, in the heart of the mansion, where the veil thins, lies the ultimate test of nerve, a challenge to those who seek to uncover the truth behind the unexplained. Amidst the whispers of the night and the chill that settles over the soul, lies an insatiable curiosity that draws the brave to England's most infamous haunted mansion. This mysterious allure, mingled with the thrill of the unknown, compels those with hearts both stout and curious to delve into its shadowy depths. It's not merely the thrill of a scare that beckons them, but a deeper, more profound quest to brush against the supernatural, to touch the intangible history that weaves through the mansion's forsaken corridors. 
In this dance with the spookish, where every creak and whisper tells a tale of despair and darkness, the mansion remains a siren call to seekers of the paranormal, offering a glimpse into the abyss that, once seen, can never be unseen. <laughs>